Max, I believe you have some last tennis notes before we take our break and time travel to the end of the Leafs game. Yeah, so the French Open, Roland Garros, I've been told it's one of the oldest sporting tournaments in history, uh, kicks off, I believe, this Sunday. And a couple notes I wanted to give to preview that. Uh, on the women's side, Bianca Andreescu is going to be competing, so that's a huge potential excitement for Canadian tennis fans. But if you look at how her season has gone so far, this 2021 literally has not finished a tournament without injury yet, except I guess the Australian Open, but she went right into a smaller one after that and then had to take time off for injury after running through that tournament, was injured in the Miami Open, uh, injured last week. So you hope that last week's pullout was more a precaution than anything else and that she's as healthy as she can be going into this and you never know she hasn't had a ton of clay success just yet but again i i was ready to counter out a lot earlier at the miami open than uh and then she just kept pulling through kept making it she has that ability to make every match a match and you never know if you might see that on clay or not. So some potential excitement there. Unfortunately, on the men's side for the Canadians, Chapeau will not be competing as we have discussed previously. And after that match with Nadal, he was, I was very excited to see what kind of damage he could do at the French. Uh, so hope he's healing up well. Then the other big Canadian Felix has got a really tough tournament draw, honestly. <laughs> Uh, so in the third round, he would have to face Berrettini, the ninth ranked Italian who has won finals appearance, won quarters of finals appearance this year at the 1000 masters on clays losses to Zverev and Tsitsipas. So two of the top five guys in the world. And, uh, he also won a smaller tournament and let's say Felix can get by him. He would potentially be facing Federer in the quarterfinals of the draw. And also on that half of the, the draw are one Rafa Nadal and one Novak Djokovic. So it's a hell of a half that Felix is on and that just the tennis world is going to be watching. Unfortunately, we won't get a Novak Rafa final, which is, I think, right now still the best match up you can get in men's tennis grand slam five set games maybe a little more exciting on hard court or i guess depends who you want as your favorite is how you feel about it but you've still got Tsitsipas, Zverev, Medvedev all on the other half of the draw so of course some strong contenders there i'm sure there's plenty of dark horses that will come out and surprise us and one last note for optimism on the Felix side, he has been training with uh, Tony Nadal, Rafa's uncle. So really excited for that. Can't wait to get the Grand Slam tennis underway. Hopefully there will be plenty of coverage on this channel. So uh, rejoice tennis fans, Grand Slam action coming soon.